Are you looking for a cool light to put in your room that can be an awesome night light or just an awesome decoration? Well, join me today as we print the moon as a lithopane globe. And we do the basing, and we're going to talk about electronics in this one. So, see you guys inside. Hello, and welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are doing the moon in a single nice print. Now when this lights up, it looks like the moon's surface. It's a dip. I have mine built to be a bit dimmer, so it looks like it's basically a great night light or mood lighting or something along that line that when it's lit up, this is the moon's surface. So we're gonna not only print the lithopane itself, the internal light holder, which I have LEDs wrapped around and power going out to get this thing lit up, and then I didn't like the square basey thing that comes with this one. That's your choice if you choose to print it. But I went and found a different model that this all sits together well on and makes a pretty cool lamp. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the electronics, but we're going to get this guy sliced in Kira. All the parts you need to make this a lamp will be in the description below. So keep that in mind as you go through here. But basically, this all goes together to create a simple, if I were to screw it together, which you guys will see the final product in the end, simple lamp that you can sit anywhere. And if you're into, ast into astronomy or anything like that, this is pretty cool because it is extremely detailed, not only with cratering and different things like that, but you'll see at the end when we show off the lit up product, it's got a lot of great detail and this was not a hard print. I printed this one on an Ender 3. It is solid as can be because when you're printing a lithopane, one of the things you got to do is make sure that infill is sitting at 100%. And turn, um, honestly, other than a raft, there was no support on this. I didn't use a single support to get this because you don't want support on the inside of this. You want this to be clean and solid. So you don't even need to support it to print it, which is an awesome thing to do. So let's hop over to Kira. We'll get the pieces sliced. You'll see the time lapse of the actual print. We'll get these all assembled into the final product. You guys will see it lit up at that point. And then we'll move through and that's the final product of it all. So if you guys do enjoy anything you see on this channel or enjoy the content, whether it's me teaching you how to slice it, showing you my slice settings, or just the time lapse and music, let me know what you're enjoying in these videos. So it does help me out in helping create these, whether is the, is the cure part pointless? Do you just want to see it print? Just let me know. So if you do not if you enjoy the content, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get all the videos that would come out. You get at least one video a week every Friday. Um, comments, leave them, please. More. <laughs> um, any way I can help you guys out, let me know with anything 3D printing. So let's hop over to the computer and get that Cura slice started. Okay, guys. So here's the model I used for the actual moon and the inner piece that you saw me putting the LEDs in. So this is by... You are bearer. Um, he did a really good job. I didn't like the base that was given to this one because when you look at it, it shows off the cables and that's not what I wanted. As you can see here, the cables are completely visible. Uh, I didn't want that. I didn't want the cables to be visible. So um, I didn't use this base. So that's why mine looks a little different. But this piece was what I loved. So in the base of this, this just screws in, you wrap the LED, as you can see here, they did it. You wrap the LED, use a zip tie on the top. I didn't do this wiring type method. I just pulled the wire through because I'm using a different base that allows me to do that. So, but that's how basically the LED is all just adhered on there. But that post made it great for getting equal light around the entire globe. So the base that I used was this moon lamp base um, dog dan dc is the creator it's meant for a normal light bulb but the the way the moon sat and that screw in of the led piece it sits perfectly and it gives that that little oomph rise that works really well um, for this model so this one it sits down flush and goes over this upper lip mine does not mine sits right on the upper lip so it gives it a kind of a cool lift I thought anyway. So these are the two models that I used. So we are going to hop over to Cura. I'm now currently using Cura 4.91. It is out. 
Um, it did fix a few things that I was kind of having trouble with with Kira 4.9, so it is a good release. Some of the um, plugins um, are taking a little bit of time to update, so kind of keep that in mind. So here's the LED piece that I printed by itself, and the LED, this piece, and the moon itself, I used an Ender 3. So you could actually scale this up if you really wanted to. Um, but I used an Ender 3. Uh, no support was really required here. A little bit of support went in here. I did use a raft for better adhesion because this bottom piece is very thin. So I did go ahead and put it on a small raft um, to get that better plate adhesion. But that's all there is to it. Um, actually, let's kick down to the Ender 3. I'm running on a CR10 right now. So there it is on the Ender 3. So nice, clean looking, um, nice groove for the zip tie to hold the LED on the top. That's one perk of this. I use my standard print settings. So I used Inland PLA Plus to print this. 10% um, infill, it just needed enough strength to hold up. Um, Inland PLA, I start off with my printing, t my initial layer at 215 and then I jumped to uh, 210. So basically really simple, clean little print for this piece. So let's clear that one off and let's get to the meat and potatoes of this one. Let's get to the moon lamp itself. So that's loading in. And as I said, I did this with an Ender 3. Now this one, I did give a bit of a meteor raft, um, but I also printed it with no support. And I think I locked up. <laughs> oh, poor Kira. Let's launch another Kira session. This one may still come. Oh, hey, there it goes. We don't need the other ones. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of detail here. Now this is a lithopane. So one trick to lithopane is white PLA. And then the trick here to make this work right, you gotta scroll down here to your infill density to 100%, which it is ignoring my command. Hello. And it's not lock off. And it's ignoring my command right now, but this needs to go to 100%. There we go. Now it's letting me have control. Maybe. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me edit. But you guys get it. Got to go to 100%. I did a bit more of a raft to give it more contact holding to the plate because that's your entire bed adhesion right there. No supports, this thing built beautifully. Um, and that means no support, no cleanup, just have to pull the raft off and you can screw in the LED piece. So it worked out really, really well. Um, I was really happy with that. So let's pull this other session open and let me find the moon lamp base. Here it is. This one was really simple and really nice to print as well because that's all it is. A little bit of support, and I, that's all there is to it. Prints out really well. I printed mine in white. I do like that it has the cable groove to pull your cable up into um, and hold it. So, and they are offset of each other, so that's even better um, to keep your cable nice tucked in and pulled into it. So it is a great little model to work on. I use the same settings um, for temperature and uh, infill. I did, I did this was at 25% because I wanted to give it some weight to hold it in play, to weigh it down on the table. Um, and this thing is b weighing, basically holding the entire structure, but it's well supported to hold the structure. So um, this was a really awesome base, made a really cool connection. So with that said, let's get this over, let's get you over to the printer and let's get this one finished up. We'll see you guys after the print.
All right, so we got it done. Here's the assembly. I've taken the LED strip, which has self-adhesive behind it, wrapped it. It's up in there. This is a clip that goes into the positive negative. That's going to go on the bottom. And all you got to do for this one, insert, put a zip tie to just help it keep it on there. But after that, it's just screw this on. Just like that. And I'm going to slide this one through. Just like that. I'm going to find the groove for my power cable to come out. All right. Now comes the fun part. We give it some power. Um, I don't have the inline switch in this one yet. I will be uh, putting that in, but for this demonstration, we don't really need the switch. But in the end, all it is, there we go. Lit up just like the moon surface. You can see all the craters and everything. This is a really neat light. And also, for the fun of it, guys, let's turn off the lights so you can actually see it. And there we go, all lit up and showing off. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys every time you view, view one of the videos. Hit a like down there. It helps me out. Let me know I'm making good videos. And also, if you got questions or just want comments or want to see something printed, like anything behind me, um, let me know. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you in the next video.